日旅程嘅另外一站，我哋会去到 Science North 嘅科学馆，究竟同 Dynamic Earth 有咩分别噶啦 Hello, my name is Bruce Dorr. I'm one of the staff scientists here at Science North, and Science North is the sister science center of Dynamic Earth. Uh, here at Science North, we have many different exhibits, and I actually work on the third floor in the Northern Ecosystems floor, where we actually have some of our animals and exhibits about Northern Ontario. So what we're going to do today is that we're going to visit the Science Centre and look at the different floors and a bit more the focus on the third floor where we're doing some major renovations to bring new experiences to visitors. Science North was actually built right in the rock. So what you're actually seeing here is what was actually built. We're actually within the rock, the, the, the rock of, uh, of uh, Ontario, and this was actually excavated out. So it adds to the experience. Visitors are actually coming in here. Uh, Sudbury has a geological history. We have a lot of mines, so it's very appropriate to immerse people in there and they get the sense of what Northern Ontario is about. So this is actually all real. Yes. Okay.其實我來到這個山聲是一個重大的發現居道又講因為我們這個山聲是建築在一個石群上面而這個石群是兩個大的石頭有一個分界線是在起的時候才發現的如果地殼一移動會地震這裡會裂開就是這條線這裡這條深
。哇，小朋友嚟到呢度咧，一定非常之开心啦，因为真系有好多嘢玩噶。唔知道大家仲记唔记得啦？小学嘅时候自然科学科咧，唔知道大家嘅成绩好唔好咧吓？如果唔好嘅话咧，真系可以嚟到呢度补下习喎，咁样大家就可以回忆一下童年啦。嗱呢個咧就世界上最迷你嘅電話嚟，我要變身啦，唔好阻住我。So these animals would normally be on the third floor. They're here for now because of renovations, and we do take them out for visitor interaction. So visitors. So this is actually a porcupine. His name is Quill, and he came to us as a baby. That's why he's here at Science North. He can't go back out in the wild. So I'm going to feed him right now. Hey, buddy. So this is called racha. It's just a,、um, a pelleted food for rodents. And one of the reasons why we have animals here at Science North is to、uh, kind of explain some of the biology and ecology of these animals, and really to show you know these animals aren't dangerous. Okay, we just have to uh, uh, respect them, and to allow people to interact with them and touch them. So if anybody wants to actually touch a porcupine, you can come over. So it doesn't shoot as quickly. So this is one thing we talk about when we talk about some of these animals here in northern Ontario. And as long as you're petting downwards, not upwards, because、yeah. you don't want the, and not on the head, just like that, and it'll be fine. So you can go right here. More more right here. Yeah, that's how I'm holding. You're moving up here. And now he has his corn. He's going to be so happy. So、yeah. I can just pet him down now, right? Yeah, you can come. You can come right、uh, here. Or if you want to,、yeah. you can come right there. I just want to be nearby. Yeah. Not his head. Not his head. Just his body. That's it. Is it? Yes. Yes. He's 2002,、uh, almost nine years old right now. They're not dangerous. The only way you can get a quill is if you touch the pork butt, and、right. the quill will come off of you. Quills are just modified hairs. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah. So. This whole idea that they will shoot quills and things like that—no, it's just a yeah. myth. Yeah, yeah. It's a complete myth. Yeah. 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 And Quill and he's actually very calm right now because we don't have too many visitors.、Mm. He's also eating his corn. <laughs> I know. Just <laughs> get a little bit of it. You just smell it. It's hot. And people tell me、uh, the porcupine smell. And I keep telling them, well, it's not that the porcupine smell. You're not a female porcupine. If you were a female porcupine. You'd love this smell. Yeah. All right. Just size. Go a little bit higher. Yeah, 地方咧真係好多小動物噶，呢只飛鼠會唔會令到大家覺得好得意咧？一班嘅主持人都睇到好開心啊！嗯。系咪好中意小动物呢？千祈唔好行开，转头翻嚟有好多小动物等住同你见面噶。系咪都想去玩一下呢？详情请上网查询。